Welcome to College Prep Confidential, empowering your student with the elite tools they need to get accepted to their dream university. Discover test-taking blueprints from Ivy League professionals, financial aid secrets to get more money for school, and mindset tips for a better college future. Now please welcome your host, Don Sevsik. In 20 years of math tutoring, helping students and parents with math and college prep, there's one question I hear more than anything else. And it's the title of our episode 34 this week. And the question goes like this. Don, when will I ever use math in the real world? Whether or not you're a math major, there's no doubt we've all asked ourselves this question or variations of it. When will I ever use the Pythagorean theorem in my life? When will I ever use the quadratic equation at my job? When the hell will I ever use geometry proofs in my career? Now these are all great questions. And honestly, I can answer them two ways. And we'll cover both in this episode. First, I could tell you all the high paying jobs which open up if you understand math. Jobs like video game programmers. Think of Xbox, which uses vectors and motion calculations. Actuarial science jobs where you can make $150,000 or more. Statistics and probability jobs. Architecture and engineering jobs economist, data engineer. The salaries for jobs with skills in math sit at the high end of most jobs. So money is one option and one answer. I could tell you how math explains the universe, like the speed of light and physics principles. But the money, the physics, the science, that's not even really the main answer. That's the first use of math. But my favorite answer to give to the question when will I ever use math in the real world, comes from this little story. You see, I'm a huge fan of etymology, which is the roots of words, where they come from. Since algebra is one of the top three subjects the people on my site use and need help with, we'll start there. When you look at the root of the word algebra, it comes from an old Arabic word pronounced aljabr. Loosely translated, it means the reunion of broken parts. And here's why that's important to you. In all your life, whether it's school, relationships, college prep, jobs, or starting a family, there is one universal trait you will need from the womb to the tomb. Do you know what it is? Problem solving. You see, life is a series of tests for you. Passing these tests requires problem-solving skills. And nowhere do you build and sharpen the skill better than math class. As I said earlier, algebra means the reunion of broken parts. Think of a puzzle. You open the box and you dump all the pieces out. To solve the puzzle, you must reunite the broken pieces until they form the right combination which reveals your picture. All throughout life, no matter what job you work, people you meet, or places you go, you will always be solving problems. And the math classes you took help with this. Not necessarily from formulas, equations, and theorems, and all that stuff that most people dread, No, no, no. Instead, it's the methods you use to figure out your math homework. The problem-solving methods you learn both from math, your teachers, and your classmates. The problem-solving skills give you the power to conquer the challenges of life. Consider this. There's only 12 musical notes, but the combination of them create unlimited songs. Think of each music note like your problem-solving skills. As you add more problem-solving skills from math class and your life, you add to your talent stack. The more skills in your talent stack, 
the more problems you can solve. The more problems you can solve, the more valuable you are. It's an unofficial secret when you work at any job. You are not paid for how hard you work. You are paid for how hard you are to replace. The harder you are to replace, the more money you get. Do you know one of the main skills of those who reach the top levels of jobs? You guessed it, problem solving. Problem solving starts with confidence. You see, as you work on your problem solving skills, you gain more confidence, which helps you take on more challenges. The more challenges you pass, the more you succeed. Math builds confidence by testing you and even sometimes breaking you. Just like working out with weights makes little micro tears in the muscles which heal back thicker and stronger, so does your confidence and brain power build back stronger with the trials you go through in math class. Math class breaks you down and rebuilds you faster and mentally stronger through your problem solving skills. Think about the skills and talents you learn with problem solving. Analysis, critical thinking, root cause identification, fact finding, brainstorming, lateral thinking, process of elimination, thought experiments, and time management. The list goes on and on. And everything on the list I just read to you benefits you in life. And these skills get built and sharpened in math class. In fact, I wouldn't even call it math class. You know what I'd call it? I'd call it a crash course in problem-solving mastery. The wrong question to ask during math class is, when will I ever use this stuff? The right question to ask during math class is, what am I becoming? What is this turning me into. Now, some of you might joke and say a ball of stress or anxiety, and it's funny, I laugh at that, but really, what math class is doing is turning you into a problem-solving weapon, being sharpened for the real world of bosses and deadlines and becoming an adult. You don't have to like it, most people don't, But it's the rewards and skills you get which gives you that sweet payoff. It's almost a universal declaration by most students and parents that math is usually the hardest subject in school. If this is the case, then math problem-solving skills act like a, in case of emergency, break glass type option later in life. From all the trials and challenges you went through for math, You come out the other side sharper and faster. Think of math class as a razor sharpener, and your problem-solving skills are the razor. The sharper you get, the more challenges and obstacles you overcome. How is this valuable? Well, on a job, you're paid for the problems you can solve. As you move up the ladder, you're paid for the bigger problems you can solve. Bigger problems equals a bigger paycheck. Bigger paychecks mean more freedom, more prizes, and more satisfaction. And I get it. Even if you don't obsess over money or want to care about money, then think of it like this. Think of money as a way to keep score for the decisions you make, and each dollar is a point on your scoreboard. The years you spend in math may give you headaches, anxiety, and frustration. But it's all worth it when you get that 25% raise from your job, or when you conquer a new project, or when you win the next award in your career. Victory tastes better than any dessert. To get there, you must go through math class. But if you think of math class as a chess piece on a board to be moved for you to get everything you want in life, then the anxiety and uncertainty starts to fade away. And it gets replaced by optimism and confidence. We covered a lot in this episode, and I want to help you crush college prep. So I put together a list of expert resources for you to help you strengthen the weak link and avoid the multiply by zero problem for college prep. 
resources like test prep, financial aid, and mindset. If you're interested, check out cpcshow.com. That's cpcshow.com. If you like this episode, why not subscribe to stay up to date on a treasure chest of college prep resources and tips. Thank you for listening, and I will see you next week. That's all for this episode of College Prep Confidential. To discover how to give your student a better future by increasing financial aid, improving test scores, and reducing stress, visit our website at cpcshow.com. That's cpcshow.com.